guys, this is Eugene and today I'm going to show you in my opinion the four most essential minor chords for Neo Soul R&B and gospel guitar. So the first chord voicing I want to show you is a basic minor 7 chord that's played in E. So this is an E minor 7 chord. And you play it that way. You play a bar on the 7th fret starting from the A string. Then you play your 5th on the 9th fret D string and then you play on the 8th fret B string and that's your basic chord shape. You can actually play uh, on the 8th fret and the 7th fret um, B string to create that little sound and another typical R&B chord melody lick is that. So you do it that way you play the 7th fret and the 8th fret on the B string and then the 7th fret, 10th fret on the high E string going back to the 7th fret actually and then doing the same thing on the B string. The second voicing I want to show you is a classic Neo Soul guitar chord and it's a minor 9 chord that's played in A. So we play A minor 9 chord. You play it that way, you play a bar on the 5th fret and then you play your 5th with your 3rd finger on the 7th fret A string and then you play your 9th with your pinky on a 7th fret high E string. And what you actually do quite often is you do a hammer on from the from the 5th fret to the 7th fret to give it that little 9 sound. Another cool trick you can do with that chord is you can play the 8th fret and the 7th fret on the B string as well if you want to create some chord melody. And that's actually another pretty cool chord voicing that's like a major 6 chord. Next chord voicing I want to show you is a pretty modern sounding chord voicing. It's a minor 11 chord and sounds like this. Let's play it in A, A minor 11 chord. And you play it that way. You play with your second finger on a fifth fret low E string. Then you play on the 5th fret D string with your 3rd finger and with your pinky you play on the 5th fret G string and then you play on your 3rd fret on the B string. The last chord voicing I want to show you is another minor 7 chord and it's a really interesting chord shape because it is not your typical kind of minor 7 chord and has an exotic sound to it in my opinion. It sounds like this. You play it that way, let's play it in G, so G minor 7 chord, you play a bar on the 3rd fret and then you just play your 7th on the 6th fret B string and that's your chord shape. I really hope you liked that lesson and if you want to see more videos like that then feel free to subscribe to my channel.